All right, this is a tutorial on magnetic polishes and um, more specifically magnets and the different um, styles that are available and um, how to tell what you are going to end up with. So there, I really love the fact that magnetics are, are back in, in style. Um, I've always loved them from, I think the first one I saw was about seven to eight years ago. And um, these are pretty old as well. They're maybe four or five years old. But um, every time I've seen magnetics, I just really like, like the look of them. And so I've collected them over the years. And, and most recently, there are a bunch of indies that, that have come up with them as well. But um, it, the old style of magnets um, often came in the cap themselves, like this one that came with the, with the Sally Hansen one. And they just came right over to the top and you removed them. And the pattern here showed you what you were getting. And um, one good way to, to sort of tell what the pattern looks like um, on the nail is first you want to shake up the... the um, the magnetic polish to make sure that the particles disperse and then you can just put the magnet right on top of the um the polish and you can see the pattern forming let me do that again okay so i just put that on here and held it for a few seconds and you can see the wavy pattern forming on the um in the bottle so with this pattern you will get bright waves here with the darker edges um, in between. And so most polishes are black based, meaning that when the sh shimmer pulls away from the polish, you get um, black as the other end of it, right? So showing that again with this, okay. So you know that that's what you're going to be getting on the nail. Bright lines and then mostly black, right? So um, after that, a uh, bunch of people, you, you see these kinds of tools quite a bit. And this one is the cat eye. And they are, they work the same as any bar type magnet. I've got it stuck to a stainless steel ruler because I want to keep them separated. But most of these come in um, this size now, okay? Uh, and again, this is the problem with magnetics is they tend to uh, want to do their own thing. So, and one good thing about it is that you can stick it together and come up with some different patterns as well. But these bars do the same as this cat, cat eye magnet. And so, um, if, so this is a different polish, all right, so I'll show you that one is Fun Harmony, which was one of the first multi-chrome magnetic polishes to come out, and it's really, really quite nice, I think. This is El Corazon, um, Muir 03, which I used not too long ago, and if you apply the cat eye to this, okay, you can see that you'll get sort of a bright line in the middle there, okay? Um, sort of similar to what you do, what you will get if you apply these bar magnets where you get that bright line in the middle and then a darker, much darker green, almost black, depending upon how long you hold it in the middle there. And if you form two together, they do form different... Um, slightly different patterns than just one. So it's fun to experiment with putting magnets together. All right. And then um, that first Sally Hansen I showed you. So the other type of magnet that you can get these days is sort of this round one. And I think that these form pretty um, unique shapes as well. And so here you can see it... pulling the magnetic particles, okay? And you get a darker circle where the magnet was and then the shimmer around it, the lighter bit around it. So that's another interesting one. And that's um, somewhat similar to, now you can find either these ring magnets or um, arc magnets that I'll show you in a bit. And they sort of do something similar here. Um, where the 
where the magnet is, is going to be the dark portion. And then outside of that is going to be the lighter, more shimmery portion. Okay. All right. And then um, one of my favorite magnets is that arc magnet that I got from Lantern and Wren. And let me show you on something different. So this is a Native War Paints Nebula. Okay, and this is a really pretty um, magnetic polish, which also has hollow in it. And here, so you can see, hopefully, okay. So with the arc magnet, it pulls the darker magnetic bit in an arc, that blue stripe there. And then the lighter particles go away from the magnet arc itself. So that gives you a different shape. And I like the curvy bit of, of, the, mar the, of the arc magnet. So I think that's a really cool one that I like to use quite often. Okay. And then um, you also get these kinds of uh, pens as well. This one's dual ended and it has sort of a five flower shape on one end and a four sort of stick on the other end. And these form interesting um, shapes as well. It might not work on this one. Okay. And you can see that sort of flower pattern form on the bottle there. Okay. Let me see if I can get it. That's not forming quite as nicely on the bottle, but you can, you can, you should be able to tell what it looks like. And here, that's really quite strong there in terms of forming some patterns with the other end, which I haven't played around with much at all. Okay. And then, um, so the other kinds of pen that that's available is just a magnetic uh, pen like thing here and for this you can sort of draw patterns like if you wanted a spiral pattern like that you can draw a pattern and you have to be obviously be quick about it but um, you can draw whatever kind of pattern you want on the nail okay and so that's cool and then the last uh, actually I have two more um, I also got this humongous magnet and it was like eight or nine bucks on on amazon and i'll show you in comparison to the other one but keeping it sort of further away because they will stick together um but it's more than double the thickness of two of those other bar magnets um together and it for me because it's so big and with my arthritic hands it makes it a lot easier to hold and i also think that it has a much much um stronger uh magnetic um effect to it so this one pulls the shimmer toward the center so it acts like a cat's eye right so you can see that bright shimmer right down the middle but if you wanted to you could use it flat like this and then the magnetic shimmer goes is pulled away you can see that arc there and then the dark end is left where the the flat end of the of the magnet is so in some respects this looks like um this can mimic uh the arc magnet if you use it in this in this fashion so you can see how that looks there and then the last thing that i um have not played around with much at all is um i got these uh magnetic balls and you can stick them on another magnet or magnet pen um, or a, where did I put it? Or you can put it on stainless steel uh, tweezers like this, okay? As many as you want in whatever, you know, shape you want. Um, trying to get them to stick okay and all right I'll just go with the five because that's all that want to seem to stick together 
And so you can take that and then use that on the nail as well. 